Hey, good morning, Hope Community Church. Uh, we are still in Acts chapter 16, and if you remember from last week, Paul and Silas were arrested, they were beaten, they were thrown into prison, uh, they had stocks on their feet, and uh, and it's midnight, and they started praying and singing hymns, <clears throat> and the Bible tells us that the prisoners were listening to them. And then uh, verse 26 of Acts 16 says this, And suddenly there was a great earthquake, so that the foundation of the prison were shaken, and immediately all the doors were opened, and everybody's bonds were unfastened. And when the jailer woke and saw that the prison doors were open, he drew his sword and was about to kill himself, supposing the prisoners had escaped. But Paul cried out in a loud voice. He says, Do not harm yourself, we're all here. And the jailer called for the lights and rushed in, and trembling with fear, he fell down before Paul and Silas. And he brought them out and said, Sirs, what must I do to be saved? And they said, Believe in the Lord Jesus, and you and your house will be saved. You and your household. So, there's a couple things going on here. I, I wonder if this jailer had heard them praying and singing before and maybe even wondered like who are these guys what's wrong with them why are they praying why are they giving praise to their god when nothing but bad has happened and yet at this moment when they could have escaped they were still there and this jailer he knew that he was going to lose his own life if these prisoners had escaped. And and so seeing all this, he then changes his mind um, about, about Paul and Silas, and he asks this question, what must I do to be saved? What would it take for you to live such a life that people aren't arguing with you about Christianity, but are asking you, what must I do to be saved? Because you have something real, you have something authentic, and I want to be a part of that. What must I do to be saved? Uh, God has been faithful to us. Let's remain faithful to him. Love you guys. Talk to you soon.